Hey, what up, guys? It's Chris. Uh, Terry and I, we were out of town for a couple of days, and um, and lo and behold, look, man, it friggin' snowed out here. And uh, it was cold, man, it cold, so cold that uh, the boys that were uh, my nephews who were watching the place here for us um, had to bucket some water out for some of our animals because, of course, we are, like, right in the middle of every project. <clears throat> and uh, that's when cold snaps and weird stuff happens, right? And, uh, of course, we don't have any of the, the heaters on now and uh, all the things that uh, make this make this journey a little bit easier and that's all part of our project right uh, one of the things that, that I know a lot of you guys have which if you if you haven't seen them they're pretty pretty awesome they're little warming trays that keep your water bins um, just above freezing or uh, the little weather tape that turns on by itself when that uh, recognizes that the pipe uh, gets below that temperature and uh, those are pretty handy um, but uh, you know I'm out here grabbing some firewood uh, we got that fire going in the in the house and it's kicking temperature back up warming up the home we were gone for a few days so uh, of course we didn't have it at regular you know regular warmth that we would have but uh, hopefully you guys have a backup system like that too right hopefully you guys are doing firewood um, if not uh, maybe that's something we can help you guys get set up for this year before next winter as a fireplace in your house um, by the way guys we got tons of down uh, timber back there so uh if you guys are looking at wood for next season let me know um we're gonna sell it but uh to friends and family right just come on over we'll we'll get you guys a pretty darn sweet deal um <clears throat> so anyways a lot of it is alder back there alder burns pretty good um we don't get we don't burn alder here at the house uh both terry and caitlin um have allergies to alder smoke and so we only do like the firs and the maples and stuff like that so Honestly, there's about a hundred and something trees that we fell out there that uh, we're gonna round up for next year. And they're not too big. They're maybe a nine inch uh, diameter and smaller. So uh, one or two little splits and they, they pop open pretty easily and they'll all fit right in and stack real well. Um, <clears throat> but uh, they'll also cure out pretty fast for the summer. So they should be good um, this, this fall uh, and winter. So if that's something you guys need, let us know. Anyways, guys, we're back in town. Give us a call if you need anything. If any of you guys are out of power, let us know too. Love to help you guys out there too. We got a generator if anybody needs anything. So love y'all. We'll, uh, we'll see you guys soon.